uh, Radiator Rico and Radiator, uh, what's Russell. her name? Russell. We're just waiting on, uh, what's Roy in the grain cart, you know? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna truck. We're Ice gonna, road trucker, we're gonna, baby! Woo! Yeah! We're gonna truck some grain! Ice road trucker! Yeah! Good morning, folks. Back out at the game bird farm. We are corn harvesting today. Already had to do some pheasant chores this morning. Got the pheasants fed, mixed up a batch of feed. Had to go water them all. Got that all done. And now we're getting ready to go on corn harvest here. Got the bin here. We got to fill this one up, top it off. I think it's, you know, right up at the, on that last rib there. So we're going to top that bin off. Got the truck rolling in right now. Get the combine and grain cart fueled up. And then we're headed to another farm. to move the auger over there because this is our last bin on the place here to fill up. Alrighty folks, a little update for you. Just got the rest of that field out, you know. Now we're taking the combine back home to get fueled up and get it ready to head on down to the next patch. We gotta get that grain cart empty, so we got the other guys hauling, or emptying that with the truck still going back and forth, filling up that, topping off that grain bin back at the place there. We're gonna go get the combine ready to go, field up, and then we're gonna head on down to the next place, which is a couple miles, well, a few miles down the road, so. Got this field all opened up here. We just sent Rico and Radiator Russell on their way to the new new bin location where uh, the other guys were getting that set up. He's finishing a couple end rows here and then we're taking the bird feed that we put in this morning and at the location with the new bin, that's where he has a bunch of the nursery birds. So we got to take all these over there and feed them. All right, folks, made it to the next location. We're trying to get the auger. Oh, yeah. Got the bin cover off. It's just held on by three of these little clamps. So just un unscrew these a little bit. And the clamps are shutting off. And so we're getting the auger put in here. Got the truck waiting over there. So for those of you who've never seen the top of a grain bin before, this here is a spreader. So corn will drop in here and then this will get powered on. Right there, that deal will spin. When that happens, it throws the corn around the bin, you know, has a nice even distribution across the whole bottom. So I think that's how it works. You need the carburetor cousins here. They know that stuff way better than I do. All right, there we go. Got the auger into place here. Rico's gonna back the truck up here and get unloading and show you this. We got the spreader going already, so. Yep, that spinning grain will fall. Ideally, you know, most of it goes into this and then it hits that spreader. You have one around, you know, so. All right, sounds like we finally got everything good to go down there. They're gonna kick that tractor on, get that PTO going, get this auger running. I'll get back to you when uh, we get that fixed. Be right back. 
Well, I guess while we're waiting for him to get that bolt fixed or replaced or whatever's going on, I can bless you with some more knowledge of mine. So, you see, there's a bin right there. There's a gap. That's for airflow, so then air can come into the bin. And that goes on because you don't want to suffocate the corn when you put it in the bin. and Because if you suffocate it, then it's going to die and then it won't sell because nobody wants dead corn. So, they put that there for ventilation. And corn... It can't jump, you know, so that's why it's on the top, so then the corn can't, you know, jump and get out, but yeah, that's there for ventilation, so then it can get in and the corn can still breathe while it's in the bin and we don't kill it. <laughs> Look at that come down. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, Radiator Rico and Radiator, uh, what's your Russell. name? Russell. Where's... Waiting on, uh, what's Roy in the grain cart, you know? Just waiting on him. We're in beef jerky. You know? You know? Yep, got it. Just wait. We'll have a tarp open for him. He's not coming. Oh, about time. Here he comes. I mean, geez, you have to wait all day for the kid to come over, you know? This is why we're not done with the harvest, yeah? Exactly. What Russell the... said, just always waiting on Roy. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, we're back. Got our drinks. Got a ice cold baby. I got a Gatorade. What do you got? Pepsi. Pepsi. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna truck. We're ice gonna, road trucker, we're gonna, baby. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna truck the great ice road trucker. Yeah. You want an update? Fine, I'll give you one. Well, we're still going, you know. Uh, sun's, let me just show you here. Sun's starting to set, you know. Pretty dang cool. But we're get, we're still going. Haven't had any issues yet so far, just the head plugging up a couple times, but we're taking care of that nice and quick. 
So I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, we're still going. It was a cool sunset. That's about that's about all I got for you. I mean. Say